A team of astronomers led by the University of California, Berkeley, has discovered what appears to be a free-floating black hole for the first time by observing the brightening of a more distant star as its light was distorted by the object's strong gravitational field, a process known as gravitational microlensing. The team, led by graduate student Casey Lam and Jessica Liu, an associate professor of astronomy at UC Berkeley, estimates that the unseen compact object's mass ranges between 1.6 and 4.4 times that of the Sun. Because scientists believe that a dead star's residue must be heavier than 2.2 solar masses in order to collapse to a black hole, the UC Berkeley researcher argued that the object may be a neutron star rather than a black hole. Neutron stars are likewise massive, extremely compact objects, but their gravity is balanced by internal neutron pressure, preventing them from collapsing further into a black hole. Whether this object is a black hole or neutron star, it is the first dark stellar remnant, a stellar ghost, discovered wandering through the galaxy unpaired with another star. Determining how many of these compact objects populate the Milky Way galaxy will help astronomers understand the evolution of stars, specifically how they die, as well as our galaxy's evolution, and may reveal whether any of the unseen black holes are primordial black holes, which some cosmologists believe were produced in large quantities during the Big Bang. Liu and Lam first became interested in the object in 2020, after the STS-CL team tentatively concluded that five microlensing events were observed by Hubble, all of which lasted more than 100 days and thus could have been black holes, might not have been caused by compact objects after all. When Lam examined the photometry and astronomy for the five microlensing events, she was shocked to see that one of them, OB110462, had the characteristics of a compact object. The lensing object seemed black, and so not a star. The stellar brightening lasted over 300 days, and the distortion of the location of the background star was equally long-lasting. According to Liu, OB110462's gravitational impact on the light of the background star lasted an astonishingly long time. The star took roughly a year to brighten to its peak in 2011, then about a year to fall back to normal. To establish that OB110462 was generated by a supercompact object, Liu and Lam requested further astrometric data from Hubble, which came in October of last year. The new data indicated that the shift of the location of the star, caused by the gravitational field of the lens, can still be seen 10 years later. Further Hubble studies of the microlens are planned for the fall of 2022. The new information showed that OB110462 was most likely a black hole or a neutron star. The velocity of the supercompact lensing object was estimated by the two teams researching it. The Liu Lam team discovered a rather slow speed of less than 30 kilometers per second. The STSCL team discovered an exceptionally high velocity, 45 kilometers a second, which they interpreted as the consequence of an additional kick from the supernova that created it. As a consequence, Liu sees her team's low velocity estimate as potentially confirming a novel notion that black holes aren't created by supernovas and is now assumed, but rather by failed supernovas that don't produce a brilliant splash in the cosmos or give the ensuing black hole a kick. Let us know in the comments section what you think. If you want to learn more about space and stay on top of astronomy news and updates, subscribe to the channel. And for more information about these observations, check the video description. Thanks for watching.